I just have to give my two cents about these skins, right? So, why do you think that Polarium keeps pumping out all of these champion skins for sale? And it was something that was mentioned in another video that I did, and I've talked about this a few times on stream. If we keep buying, and again, you spend your money however you want to, but in case you're wondering why the uptick in all of these champion skins as of late, if people keep buying these things, they're going to keep pumping these out because, hey, people like these skins, people are willing to pay. This is sick skin, by the way. This magma lava born skin is absolutely tight. It's super cool. Recently, we've seen the uh, Arbiter ones, the Arbiter skins. So I have this one. I want it from a tournament. I have this one. I want it from a tournament. I have this one you get from doing tag teams. I didn't buy any of, the, any of these skins. Sun Wukong, I think, has... SDBK has a, uh, has a skin that's pretty cool. The actual Dynasty Warriors um, Lu Bu outfit. And you can tell it's Lu Bu by, by this. Um, this was for sale also. Ronda. I've seen some people with the Ronda skin. And as far as I know, that isn't something that you can win from a tournament. Right now, it's just, you know, 15 bucks. Uh, same thing with SWK. Trunda. Trunda's another infamous one, right? Look at Trunda. Trunda has her skin, the Incinerous skin. That's pretty cool. The Ice Drake skin. I tried to win the... Uh, some, I tried to start winning it somehow, and I forgot how I didn't get around to it. But it's, it's cool. Nut or Newt. As many of... Or it's not many of you guys. There's one guy who's just like, it's pronounced Newt. Anyway, I won this one from a tournament also. So, it's not just the fact that people are buying all of these skins, that people are like, hey, you know, I want to stand out a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way, as always. Don't take my advice or anything that I say uh, too deep and too profoundly. This is just my opinion. I'm just rambling. I'm just talking. It's my channel. I'll do whatever I want. But yeah, this is why we're starting to see a lot of these um, for sale, because people are buying. But there's something else that I don't think a lot of you guys know, or maybe some of you guys know, but I'm pretty sure many of you guys don't know. Here's the thing. When it comes to business or like any type of company, when one does something, so does another. For an example, um, Amazon, right? Am Let's look at Amazon real quick. Amazon um, video. Hold on, let me look, go over here so that nobody, in case anything, Amazon uh, video price increase. All right. So check, take a look at this. Recently, Amazon Prime Video now has a paid version of it. Before, as long as you had Prime Video, which, by the way, is like 100 or a little over $100 a year, if you had this, Amazon Prime Video, where you could watch videos. Uh, well, I mean, it, uh, it's a streaming service. You could watch things, and there were no ads. And now, well, now they have a $2.99 per month. So you pay $3 per month to avoid ads. I didn't even know there was a Prime Video monthly cost. I thought it was included. I'm pretty sure it's included. But now that there's this, guess what? Other companies are saying, hey, Amazon increased their prices by 2 Three dollars. We can do the same thing. So guess what? Spotify just sent me. Spotify yesterday sent me. Hey, we're gonna increase your Spotify subscription, and it doesn't stop here because when one company does it, the other companies do this as well. They they follow suit. Why is this relevant to raid Shadow Legends? Well, guess what? League of Legends came out with a skin. Right here, Faker. Faker is a, like, probably right now the best um, League of Legends player. Infamous, right? For $520, you could get the quote unquote Faker skin for Ari, right? And this has been out for a while. This is something that is astounding because $520 for this skin, which it looks cool. She obviously, um, you know, she looks. Great. In the game, you can get the wallpaper. 
And you'd probably look at that for like a minute. It's a moving wallpaper. And then in the game, you get the skin. Um, yeah, but it costs $520. Here, here you go. This is the thing you're going to see in the game. Premium skin. It, it comes in a bundle. It's not just the skin, but it's basically just the skin. And even if you, if you, even if you look at this stuff right here, the signature, the battle pass stuff, the other small things that are included with it, honestly, to me, it doesn't really warrant a $520 price tag. But here's the thing, right? League of Legends is a huge game. Valerium, I'm pretty sure, saw that, hey, people are actually buying this, right? And this is not League of Legends, this is not their first rodeo. They recently, not recently, I keep saying recently, a while ago they came out with uh, a skin that was like two, $250. And guess what, guys? People bought it. So League of Legends wanted to push it even further and see, okay, well, how, how much can we milk from these people? How much are people willing to pay for skins, essentially? $520 apparently because people are buying this people are buying this so much so to the point where watch this Ari Banray ban, Ari Bon Ari the character for the that which um everybody uh paid not everybody but a huge whale um uh demographic paid $520 for as a protest, these guys, as a community, decided to ban this character. So the people who paid $520 for the Ari skin, a lot of these guys aren't even able to play this, this character. Look at this ban rate. The ban rate skyrocketed in June when, when, the League of, when League of Legends sold it and everybody was you know, all hyped up about it. Still kind of relevant information. But yeah, it ban they banned it. That that's just the whole T when it comes to League of Legends. So back to Raid Shadow Legends. Raid sees that League of Legends is able to milk more people with skins. So <laughs> guys, what do you think they're gonna do? They're want they're gonna want a slice of that pie too. And you know me, I like skin. I like skins. I I'm all about this. But I don't want to pay $25 for it. What was it? Arbiter was $35 for his skin? And then who, Trunda was another, I think, $30, $35 also? It's crazy to me. It's, it's, it's wild that, well, it's not exactly wild because, you know, it's Polarium. But it's just, it's, it's, it's interesting to see. It's not really wild and crazy. It's interesting to see that people are willing to pay into this. But then again, it all circles back to who the fuck am I to judge or cast judgment or have an opinion on how somebody else spends their money. So here's my thing, my final point. If you guys have the money for it and you guys make that much money and you can you know, do your thing and that's, this is what you want, who am I to say anything? Because at the end of the day, it's your money.